likely to stay long term than some sort of drastic overnight, you know, change that your subconscious and conscious can't possibly grasp. Makes sense in the in the moment, but it's not sustainable. Take it from the guy who quit smoking cold turkey ten times. <laughs> Worked every time. Okay. So, according to our template, energy. Well, the problem with affirmations that I found was that when I state I am abundant, when clearly my account says differently, part of me says that's not true. Okay? Affirmations are about recurring your subconscious. They're not about lying to yourself. Okay? So by creating the space, because we're working from possibility, right? So I now create a space. Okay. Really quick, let me go into the one of the foundation um, philosophies of, of Tolta, Shana, and Um Everything that we know fits on a little island. So everything that we have learned, everything you can imagine, everything that we think that the world is made up of fits on a little island, and it's called the tonal. That's everything you know, okay? Everything you don't know is the ocean, and it's infinite, and it's called the now, okay? The tonal and the now. Now, when we try to create solutions from what we already know, we're not calling on the power of the unknown. <laughs> so when we say, man, I just cannot see a solution to this, it's because you're not looking outside of your tonal. You're looking out of what you already know. And what you already know got you here in the first place. So again, Albert Einstein says that we cannot create a solution with the same mindset that we created the problem with. So what do we do? We, we call to the now. This is where miracles and possibilities and things you could never, ever imagine come from. Daniel? You have to let go. You have to let go. Yeah, well, balance, right? How many of your friends live in the now? <laughs> and how many of our friends live just in the tonal? It's just about hard facts and this and that, and this is what I know and nothing else exists. But balance between the two, that's mastery. Right? Have a strong tonal of being able to reach out into possibilities. This is where world peace is going to come from. It's going to come from solutions that we can't necessarily see right now. And in the moment when you're feeling this, you can't necessarily see how it's going to work out, but it's possible. And possibility comes from the now. So when you create a space for, what was the first word? On, uh, our, our second degree. Betrayal. Okay, what's the opposite of betrayal? Support. I now create a space for support. Peace. Peace. Trust. Harmony. Harmony. Does harmony manifest success? Does it take things to come together for things to be successful? Yes. Yeah, that's the energy of, of harmony. The energy of doubt is disharmony. It disassembles our dreams and our relationships. Harmony is a very powerful energy. Harmonic resonance. Okay? Okay, what's the other, what's the next word? Victimized. Stupid. What's the opposite of stupid? Smart. Smart. How about uh, knowing? Knowledge. Wisdom. Knowledge. Wisdom. Yeah. <coughs> Joy. Joy. What is the What is the next? Uh, it's said. So joy takes care of that one. Victimized. With happiness. <coughs> okay. What next? 
Okay, so the opposite of being alone is being either complete, yeah, connected, community, right? Support, again, so community, wholeness, because are we whole? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do we need, does it, do we need anything else to complete us? No, but in the moment we can't see that until we shift. Healing. Healing. Forgiveness. Now that one will always show up in this lesson. Because most of the time, this is coming from judgment of ourselves. Mm -hmm. this, this is where these labels are coming from. So forgiveness of yourself. Is that healing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Contentment. Contentment, right? Fulfillment. Passion. Empathy. One sec. Daniel, can you show that guy a little mm -hmm. compassion next time he cuts you off? <laughs> we'll see. Instead of flicking him off on you. <laughs> there you go. You just say, that's his tonal. He didn't learn how to drive in Idaho. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, so for your double negative there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And so when I go into that space of F you and all that, I just think of the opposite, which is to see them in, in clothed in light. Absolutely. And love. And yeah. It, and it really changes completely. All of a sudden, you're not going to go run them off the road. Or right. Well, and what happens if you do? Hypothetically, you run them off the road. Okay, you feel good in the moment, right? The ego's all stoked. But what have you created? Right? What, when we create from this space... Another PSD. Yeah, more PSD, <laughs> yeah, right? But when you create from this space, there's no mess to clean up. And one of the first things that we have to do as a planet is to stop making messes. We're so focused on creating a new this and that. It's like, well, let's just stop doing what we've been doing for the last 2,000 years first. <laughs> which is operating from here. Okay? And can you do this in your head? Right? You can do it in the moment. Absolutely. If you choose to go here. Okay? If we choose to create from here, if I get in an argument and I don't take the time to go shift, I create from here. If I go to work in this space, if I interact with my family, my kids, from here, this is what we get. It's very rudimentary, very simple. Before you get to any other tools, learning how to shift is important. Okay, so you get this list. So you finish this list. Whenever you do journey, journal entries, you, you finish this list with, and I arrive at that space at the perfect time. Because is there a time limit on shift and healing and manifestation? No. No. I arrive at that space at the perfect time. Does it always look the way that we want it to? No. No. But is it still a gift? Yes. Arrive at that space. At the perfect time. Okay, so I call this I call this energy up here, this second degree up here, I call this living in issue, and I call this living in solution. Yes, Ashley. Uh, I've done this process a couple times, and the most poignant thing to me that always stands out is I now create a space for. That doesn't mean I have to be it now. That doesn't mean I have to be it in five minutes. That means that I'm creating an infinite possibility of space somewhere in the universe for this to take place.